Hi guys, uh, we're here at Industrious. It is approximately nine o'clock p.m. Um, and we're here to talk about 17.2 uh, and some, some things that you wanna think about going into the workout. We've, we've uh, watched the demonstration videos, we've watched the two athletes uh, compete the work, uh, complete the workout on the game site. Um, and we've had an opportunity now to run one heat at the gym just to kind of learn a little bit more about the workout. Mm -hmm. And we had some ideas going into it, uh, but we've confirmed some things after running a couple of heats. So we want to share that stuff with you. Uh, the main thing that I want to uh, start off with is just the two common mistakes that I think that people are going to make in this workout. Um, and and they're, they're kind of obvious, but we're going to talk about them anyway. So these are the things that you absolutely want to avoid. The first mistake in this workout is going too fast. Specifically on the first and second round, um, which is going to be the set of uh, uh, 50 uh, foot walking lunge, 16 toes to bar, eight dumbbell power cleans, those two rounds. Uh, the workout for most people is not going to be here. Really, uh, this, is, this is sort of the crux of the issue. Okay. So coming out too fast, uh, if, let's say, generally speaking for a lot of people, this going unbroken for this is going to be within your capacity. However, if you come out and go unbroken here, you're looking at about three minutes of unbroken gripping. Mm -hmm. And what that's going to result in is way too much grip fatigue down here in these pivotal rounds. Okay. So going too fast on rounds one and round two is, is the biggest mistake that somebody can make. This workout really does come down to here and here, depending on your fitness. If you're a games athlete, getting past this and into that fifth and sixth round, really that sixth round for anybody trying to go to the CrossFit games is gonna be very critical. Um, and uh, so the workout isn't one up here. Um, two, over gripping the dumbbells. So here's the thing, you have to have a full grip around the dumbbells while you're executing the lunge. However, over squeezing the dumbbells, usually that, that results in taking off too early on the lunge. So once the dumbbells get to the shoulders, it, it's just taking off before you've really established any sort of spot for them to comfortably rest. Get them up on the shoulders, that's within the standard, so that's what we're gonna recommend. And we're gonna go with fingers all the way around. That, that is the standard, you have to have your fingers all the way around, you have to have a full grip. However, we don't want a death grip. We want something that's controlled and steady as you execute the lunge steps. And this is actually an opportunity to let your grip recover a little bit. If you're really clinching the dumbbells or if you haven't established anything good here, if you're kind of all over the place with these, this is gonna require a death grip on the dumbbells and you're gonna pay the price for that as the workout progresses. So those are the two common pitfalls. Going too fast on rounds one and two not giving your grip enough time to recover, and over-gripping the dumbbells are the two things that you want to avoid in 17.2. Now I want to get more specific to pacing, and I'm going to keep this for the scope of this. I'm going to keep this in the context of somebody who is trying to go to the CrossFit Games, which basically means that at the end of the Open, they are hoping to be in the top 20 of their region. So for pacing, we, what we want is we want to be consistent on the pacing throughout the entire workout. We're gonna recommend for anybody trying to go to the CrossFit Games that this becomes a six round workout. And we think that that's possible if there's proper pacing and proper work rest management, especially early on in the workout. The first round, we want to take about a minute and 50 seconds. And that's gonna feel like an eternity to a games athlete because you guys are gonna have the capacity to do this round in about 90 seconds. But again, if you're doing it in 90 seconds, you're never letting your grip recover, okay? For breaking this thing up, we recommend the dumbbell lunge becomes basically your aerobic recovery movement for the workout, and you're just walking, all right? That's naturally gonna take you about 30 to 35 seconds, games athletes. On the toes to bar, we're recommending two sets of eight repetitions resting about 10 seconds in between the two sets of eight. 
And then on the power cleans, we're recommending breaking them up into a set of five and then a set of three with about 10 seconds of rest in between, which is going to feel like an eternity for you games athletes because of your fitness. However, what we're trying to do is we're trying to maintain a minute and 50 second pace on round one, minute and 50 second pace on round two, so that that way we have the stuff in the tank to quickly get through these bar muscle ups and then we'll let our fitness shine down here. At the bar muscle up, it's the same pace for your front rack walking lunge. Um, and I wanna make it clear that your lunge steps, it's, re it's recovery, but you need to be lunging quickly, okay? You're, you're gonna recover regardless, so lunge quickly. On your bar muscle ups, four sets of four, resting one to one. This is gonna take you about two seconds per rep, it's about eight seconds per set, 10 seconds after you get set up and you start going. So you're looking at about 10 seconds rest in between these sets of four. On the dumbbell uh, power clean, um, here we want you to go seven and one. The reason being is because you're gonna have some time metabolically to recover here on your bar muscle up. Um, because of the one to one rest, we feel like your grip should be okay in order to go seven and one here. Okay? And then follow that same work rest management strategy through that round four. Down here, what we want is we want you to go back to the same pacing on round five as round one and then we want you to let your fitness shine on round six. Good luck.